The next day, I called um, San Jose Water Company, who was the one doing the logging, and I asked them if I could come up and go to the meeting, you know, who was invited, and maybe I could find out some information, whatever. And that's when I really started getting suspicious because they said, um, you really shouldn't go to the meeting. And I said, why not? I'm, you know, I want to find out about it. They said, no, 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 these are only for certain people. We don't want other people there. You haven't been invited. If you didn't get a letter, you shouldn't come. And I said, well, what happens if I come anyway? And he said, well, I'll tell you, we probably won't have the sheriff take you out. Come to a head with that. We knew we were right. We knew we were on the path to beating this thing. And the most amazing part is that in the beginning, Jody, who'd had so much experience doing opposition to logging plans and consulting with people. She said, it'll be a miracle if you pull this off. Everyone said to us, it's hopeless. Jody Frediani, who has had experience fighting timber harvest plans for 20 years, she said, you're not going to be able to stop it. They, the CDF has never not approved a plan. San Jose Water Company is very powerful. The most you could hope to do is instead of it being a thousand acres, maybe it'll be 995 acres. We were told that no one ever stopped a timber harvest plan, um, that it would be impossible. We, we, could, we could just get some concessions, but we could never stop it. You know, for the opposition, it's just their job. After five o'clock, they don't really care about what happens. Nine to five they do, and they're getting paid, but it's their job. For us, it was our homes, literally. It was our family. It was a sense of the community. And when I think back to all those meetings, all those, you know, meeting in church halls, meeting in a gym, meeting in a school, meeting in somebody's living room, and and telling them, look, you need to understand what this is going to mean. You need to understand 60% of the trees, you know, the, the, the creatures that live here, the logging trucks on your road when you're taking your children to school, the, um, the fire danger if the big trees are taken and the forest floor is opened up to the sunlight and the undergrowth. And fire is something that was a big motivation.